Hey there planners, I am going to be testing out a new laminating machine while I am showing you how I make my own dashboards for my planners. You can make these dashboards for any size planner um, as tip-ins for a book bound planner or as um, ring bound inserts. So we're going to be testing out this new laminator and all its fancy functions and also making great supplies and accessories for our planner. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. So if you've been on my channel and watched some of my DIYs or any of my planner setups, you know that I use a laminating machine quite frequently in my planner setups. And I have had a Scotch laminator. I will pop a picture of that uh, the one that I have right here um, and have a link to it down in the description box below. I have had the same laminator forever and I use it for all kinds of things in my planner from uh, task cards to decorative cards to little inserts to dashboards, all kinds of things. I was recently contacted by a company called QFun on Amazon to try out their new laminator, which is, I have to say, quite a bit fancier than my Scotch laminator. Um, there are all kinds of functions and features and I will get into those when it comes time to the laminating portion, but I thought it would be fun to do a dashboard DIY. A lot of us I know are thinking about either switching out our planners for the upcoming holidays or even about setup for next year. And maybe you, you are considering making some of your planner items instead of purchasing them. And so I thought this would be a great DIY so that you know how to make some things for your planner like task cards or dashboards. So I'm gonna actually walk you through step-by-step -step how I make a dashboard for my planner. I'm gonna start by finding the image that I wanna use on my dashboard for my planner. So let me slide this guy out of the way and I'm gonna pop up my screen where I am actually searching for my image. All right, so I'm starting on the site Pixabay. Pixabay is one of my absolute favorite tools to use for finding copyright free images, things that I wanna to add to my planner. And I know that there's not gonna be any copyright concerns. And so this is really one of my favorite places to come. It's free to use. That's another amazing thing about this site. And there are images, videos, uh, vector images, like images with no background, um, all kinds of things. So I'm gonna start just by doing a simple search. And I'm actually gonna search for a uh, spooky night. So let me just see spooky night. I am setting, going to be setting up my planner for October and I am sure I'm going to want to use some, you know, spooky night time type images. And let me just see what I come up with. So you can already see there are some graphics that look sort of, you know, cartoony, and then there are actually some computer enhanced images, and then there are like photos, amazing photos. Um, so lots and lots of options here. Th there are options for making things like vellums as well as just dashboards. So I'm going to search through here. I'm really liking this crazy moon. Um, I've got a couple of stickers sets that I'm going to be using that have like a moon type theme in them. Um, I also really like this purple. I've got some purple that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to be sorting through here and looking to see what I can find until I find a photo that I really like. And I will come back once I found one and share that with you. All right, so here's the image that I found. I love this. It's got the purple. It's got kind of a spooky tree and moon and some bats in the background. This is just going to be perfect for me for what I'm looking for. And you can see, I know already the dimensions aren't quite right because this is a little bit like a square. So I'm going to have to play with the dimensions a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to be able to do that in the next step. So what I do on Pixabay is I actually download this for free. When I click this button, it's going to ask me what size I want to download it in. So you pick whatever size you want to download it in and download it and save it to your computer um, somewhere in a spot where you can access. All right, so now I have um, saved the picture, downloaded it and saved it somewhere, and I've opened up a blank Word document. Now, if you don't have Microsoft Word, that's fine. Any word processing software will work. 
I just use Microsoft Word because that's what I have. So I've copied my image and now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna paste it. And you can see it's so big that it's actually hanging off the page. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna come up here to picture format. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change the position to the middle of the page. And then I'm gonna come over here to size and I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit just so that it all fits on the page. Now this step, this next step is really important. I've got it shrunk down so it's on the page. Now what I need to do is to know the dimensions of my image. So I know that I am going to be putting this in an A5 size planner and I have measured so I know the dimensions of an insert in my A5 size planner are a height of 8 inches, 8.27 inches by a width of 5.83. Um, that is kind of a standard measure for A5, but I highly recommend you actually measure because um, you never know if an A5 is an A5 is an A5. So A5s can be different sizes. So make sure you actually measure uh, where you're going to be putting this in and you wanna make sure you also leave a little bit of room for the edges which will be laminated because you do have, when you're laminating, you have a, that little small edge that's, that seals the laminating pouch around the image. So the first thing I'm gonna do for this because I know it's a little bit square is I'm actually gonna crop it and make it more of a rectangle shape. So I'm gonna bring it in on this side just a little bit and bring it in on this side just a little bit just so I get that rectangle shape. So now I've cropped it to be that rectangle shape and now I'm actually gonna go up here and bring down the full menu of size. I'm gonna unlock the aspect ratio um, so that I can actually input the dimensions that I want. So for height, I'm going to say 8.2 and for width, I'm going to say 5.7. And that is going to be the right size for my image. So now that I have my image the right size, I'm just gonna go ahead and print this on regular printer paper. All right, so here's my image. I'm super excited with the way it came out. And I should say, I'm gonna have all the supplies that I use in this DIY listed down in the description box below, as well as some videos, other videos where I'm using a laminator so you can get an idea of what type of projects you can do for your planner with a laminator if you've never used a laminator and are considering getting one. So um, I have actually printed this out on super thin paper. This is very, very thin paper. This is not a quality of paper that you would want to write on a lot, um, but I know I'm not going to be writing on this and I try to keep the bulk down as much as possible when I am, you know, inserting things, especially decorative things into my planner. So here is my image all ready to go. Now let me talk about this laminator from QFun. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm gonna select the three mil setting, which you can see blinking green there. And while it's heating up, you can see that it's heating up because it's blinking. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the features of this because I think this is, <laughs> This is a much fancier uh, laminator than my Scotch laminator. So first of all, there are three different settings over here for how to use the laminator. Um, the three mil, which is really an indication of the thickness of the laminating pouches. So let me open this up. This laminator actually came with some sample sheets and here's an example of a laminating pouch. This is a three mil, millimeter laminating pouch and that is an indication of the thickness. I can also use and have five millimeter laminating pouches which are just a little bit thicker um, and I'll tell you how I use them uh, you know in my planner. Three mil is just like a standard insert dashboard, um, you know, any anything else like that I want to use. If it's something that I'm going to be handling a lot, like maybe it's the front dashboard or like an inbox uh, dashboard that I'm going to be sticking a lot of sticky notes on and touching a lot, or if it's a task card that I know I'm going to be pulling in and out, then I would go ahead and use the five, the thicker um, laminating pouch because it's a little bit more sturdy and it provides a little bit more um, just protection of what I'm laminating. So for this project, I think uh, a three millimeter is going to be fine. So three different options there, um, the uh, three and five millimeter 
And then there's a third option, which I've never heard of before, and that is cold lamination. And so I actually had to do a little bit of research into what is cold lamination. Um, cold lamination is great for things that you don't want to heat up. Um, so maybe it's a really old photo or um, a piece of artwork that, you know, if, if you put it in the extreme heat that it requires to seal up these laminating pouches, it might mess up the whatever medium you've used for the artwork um, or even like, you know, things with glitter or stuff like that. So cold lamination uses pressure versus heat to seal the pouches. Um, I've never used cold lamination before so I'm really interested to try that out and see how it works so I'm definitely going to be playing around with that option. Um, a couple of the selling points of this laminator which again I'll have linked down in the description box below it's supposed to heat up really fast which I will say you can see it's already stopped blinking so it's already heated up and it's it stopped blinking a little while ago while I was talking so I can already attest to the fact that this laminator heats up much faster than my scotch laminator. Typically my scotch laminator takes anywhere from two to five minutes to heat up depending on which setting I'm using. So this is already ready to go. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Um, so speed is much faster. Um, it says one to two minutes is the preheat time. Um, so that's, that's awesome. The other thing I will talk about is this little storage container here. So it comes with some really cool goodies beyond just the laminator. So first of all, there's a paper trimmer here. And you know, if you're anything like me, you probably already have a paper trimmer. What's interesting about this paper trimmer is that this blade is specifically for laminating pouches. And I know that on my regular paper trimmer, if I am trimming a lot of laminating pouches, my blade goes dull really fast and I have to, um, I have to replace it quickly. So this one, sh it'll be interesting to see how this one holds up with laminating pouches. I love the size. I think it's just really awesome that it fits right in here um, for storage. So that's one of the goodies that comes with it. Another one of the goodies is it comes with these three rings. So um, these are like binder rings that you can use to hold things together. Um, that's really handy. Um, this little goodie is actually a hole punch. So if you've ever tried to hole punch lami something laminated, you know that um, your hole punch doesn't really like lam laminated items. Um, this is a hole punch specifically for laminating pouches. Um, so that is going to come in handy. And then finally, another thing I'm absolutely thrilled to have another one of is a corner rounder. Um, laminating pouches that have the square corners can be painful. <laughs> um, they can you know, they, they just stick you when you go to turn the page. So having a corner rounder right here in the laminator is just a really, really thoughtful, nice touch to have. And the fact that I can store all that stuff right here uh, inside the laminator is pretty cool. So uh, lots of goodies come with this uh, laminator that do not come with my Scotch laminator. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so let's get to trying this out. I actually received laminating pouches in three different sizes with this laminator. So I've got the regular A4 size, which this laminator, the largest size it will take is A4. That's like a standard sheet size. It also comes with an A5 and an A6. Um, I think this one will fit in the, yeah, this page will fit in the A5. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the A5 sheet. Um, if you don't have an A5 sheet, that is absolutely fine. You don't have to have one. You can use a regular laminating sheet and just cut it down. So um, you want to be careful to get your paper right in there. Um, leave plenty of room around the edges. I do try to get it as centered as I can. And when that's ready, I am going to slide it in here and see how it does. All right, so it has come out the other side and I'm actually gonna turn it off because I know I don't need to run this through a second time. This is a pretty amazing seal. Sometimes with my Scotch laminator, I feel like I need to run things through two or three times to really get that seal, but I'm looking at this and there's almost no edge on the laminating pouch. It goes right to the edge and it's a really good seal and you can see how you know, shiny and, and straight that is. So I'm super thrilled with that. Um, I'll go ahead and cut this down, but 
I do just want to say pretty impressed with how fast that was. I mean, I was able to turn it on, heat it up, and get it going and have it laminated in less than five minutes. And um, that is definitely not the case when it comes to my Scotch laminator. All right, let me get this cut down. All right, so now I have my insert spooky Halloween, um, you know, kind of purpley spooky night with the bats. I've got my insert ready to go. Um, and it is gonna easily be, you know, a tip in for my planner. I think it's gonna be perfect for my upcoming October planner somewhere in there. Um, and I'm really, really impressed with this laminator. Um, thank you so much to QFun for letting me try this out. I absolutely love it. And I would highly recommend it if you are, if you do not have a laminator and you're looking to purchase one and you want one that is gonna get the job done fast and have some pretty cool options. I'm excited to try out the cold feature and some of the other options. So um, I think this is a great purchase. Um, I'll have it listed down in the description box below in case you want to check out more of the details. I have all my supplies listed down in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will be making some of your own dashboards instead of buying them, um, using some you know free images from Pixabay and really tapping into your creativity and personalizing your planner to you. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to Planner and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for playing with me.